Hi, I'm Don Gardner from the Macomb Daily. The next couple of weeks I'll be bringing you the sights and sounds of the 31st annual Great Lakes Shipwreck Festival. First up will be Joel Stone, curator of the Detroit Historical Society, talking about a pre-Revolutionary War cannon found last year in the Detroit River. Stone tells me why he thinks this discovery is so important. It, it points to the maritime part of our heritage, which I think is getting lost, but also points to the military part of our heritage, which, uh, you know, we don't think that just 200 years ago, um, people were settling their differences between Detroit and Windsor with very large cannon, you know, and that's something we've kind of forgotten. Um, as, a, as an artifact, cannons are, you know, these are handmade items. Um, each one is individual and to find them on the frontier, I mean, to get them from the East Coast to the middle of the Great Lakes, you know, once they got to a ship, it was okay, but carrying those kind of things overland was very, very difficult, so that they were rare, uh, very valuable to the people who had to use them, um, and, you know, these are, these are things that are very important to our heritage, just because they're so old. There are very few things we have that go back more than 200 years. You could give educating guess. How do you think it got there? What's your, what's your opinion? My guess, there, there was one argument that they were trying to transfer it from Detroit, from the fort at Detroit down to the fort at Amherstburg, down in Malden, Fort Malden. Um, and one, one suggestion was that they fell off, that they were just lost. Um, I think because they were, they were essentially worn out and old guns by the time that all happened, I think they were just dumped so that the Americans couldn't use them. I think they took them out, they said, these are iron, we can't reuse them, let's just get rid of them. And so they took them out to the river and dumped it, which we did for many years, just dump things in the river. Oh, there's a lot of great stuff on the bottom of the river. Um, it's possible that there even may be a couple of more cannon. Um, we've heard about some smaller cannons and things that were uh, that were down there. Um, there's there's guns. There's all kinds of things at the bottom of the river. It's a it's a treasure trove. Much of it much newer than this, um, you know. But it's 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 just fun to imagine what's down there.